Hi, this is Mark Walters with BigFanboy.com, and I'm sitting here with Catherine Hardwick, and she is the director of Twilight, and we are here at Blockbuster in Dallas for the big, you know, Twilight debut, Ooh. Midnight Madness, <laughs> and uh, this is unbelievable. You know, I went to, earlier this, uh, I guess it was last year, we had uh, Robert came in for the mall appearance yeah, to promote the movie. Yeah, crazy mall. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And, and obviously you saw when you drove up tonight, huge line waiting here. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's it's excited exciting, about it. Yeah. So when you started working on this film, did you have any idea at the time that this was going to be this huge cult phenomenon that it turned into? Well, you know, when we started, um, when I started on it, 2007, in, the, in January, there were only two books out. Right. So it was, it had a passionate fan base for those two books, but much smaller. Right. And then Stephanie's so prolific, she puts out Eclipse, and she puts out Break Me Not, and that kept building and then our movie when we announced Robert and Christian that got people excited so it just all kept turning into like snowballing and it just got crazier and crazier and I, I mean I would love it you know it's awesome. You, you have a real talent for working with young people which anyone in Hollywood can tell you is not easy. Yeah. Can you describe like what, what are what are your secrets in terms of working with younger actors and being able to get them to commit to those roles and really bring 110%. Well, really all my movies have been with really young actors and I see, you know, um, a young actor, like a teenager who's young, who's 13 that I've worked with, as like really maybe like much cooler and smarter than me. So like I respect what they have to say and I like want to work with them and collaborate and figure out and how can we make this cool and, and real and honest and what do you feel? And so I feel like I'm not like a dictator to an actor, but just trying to be like a collaborator and work with them so, so we figure out how does this feel right, you know? Now, were you pretty hands-on in terms of the DVD? Did you do any like behind-the-scenes featurettes and things that people should be on the lookout for? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm... You'll see me blah, 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 talking all the time, you know, like yeah. doing little connective tissue and describing stuff. And then, you know, I, I, put the, I figured out the deleted scenes and the extended scenes and little montages and everything. So I think it's going to be fun. Any bloopers? Oh, we didn't put bloopers. Yeah. Because actually, we didn't have that many. Wow. We, because it was enough to really make a funny one. Right. Uh, I don't know why. Oh, because some of the stunts were done by second unit. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have the, the fil anybody filming second unit. <laughs> we were a little bit low budget for that, yeah. Now, uh, working with Robert and Kristen, uh, was there kind of a almost instant natural chemistry there? It seems you can really see on screen there's oh, definitely yeah. chemistry with those two. Well, this is a big deal. That was my whole uh, you know, goal in casting the two actors that I had to find two with chemistry. So, you know, I had gone through all the different guys and then weeded it down to my top four choices. And then they all came over to my house and read with Kristen all the different scenes, including the bedroom kiss scene yeah. on my bed. And and then if they didn't have that chemistry, I would not have cast, you know, Robert. Because I already had Kristen. Right. And when, when you saw Robert and Kristen together, you know, it was like <laughs> electric. You know? Yeah. Now, was there anything that you guys didn't get to do that you wanted to do in the movie necessarily? I know sometimes things end up yes. falling apart. I mean, apart. there are different things that we had, like, in the book, there's a snow scene. We had, To save money, we had to make it a rain scene. Then suddenly, we couldn't even afford to make it rain. It just had to be, like, the after the rain scene. Right. Um, I had a very cool, beautiful dream sequence. Could, they wouldn't let me film it, so I did, um, I took footage when she's dying on the ballet floor. There's kind of a dream sequence there because I took footage from the rest of the movie and treated it and warped it and, you know, made it into a dream scene. But, but I had a beautiful underwater one that I was going to shoot. Right. No okay. money. Yeah. <laughs> As sometimes happens. I remember Robert telling me, we were doing an interview, uh, what was it, last year, and he was saying to me that, uh, that when you guys were shooting, uh, you were actually shooting this in a, in a small kind of, you know, rural town and there was nobody around you and nobody really even knew about it or was bothering anybody and he was just kind of sitting there all by himself for most of the time. Uh, I, I guess needless to say that to try to do something like this again you would never have those sort of shooting circumstances. I don't think that'll be the yeah. case but even so we were in a lot of little rural towns around um, Portland mm -hmm. and some people would somehow find it so there might be like three fans or ten fans you know, but they were pretty under control. I mean, it wasn't like this. Yeah. And I'm sure it's going to be a lot more difficult now. Right. 
Well, I'm not going to bother asking you like the question about why aren't you working on the next one. I'm actually a little more curious about Maximum Ride, if you could tell us oh, yeah, about yeah, that yeah, yeah, and yeah, what, what yeah. we can expect from that movie. Well, Maximum Ride, I um, mean, we're just starting on it, uh, but it is a wild book. I mean, I don't know if you've read it, but it's, uh, you know, the kids are 98% human and 2% bird, so right. they get to fly. That's kind of fun. And then we're working on the script right now. The screenwriter, Don Payne, who's a big Simpson screenwriter and, and Fantastic Four and other movies, he, um, he and I are working on Sunday on it, and we're going to just start diving in and you know, getting, finding a lot of real, neat little specific details to make it cool, you know. I would imagine just considering the storyline, there's going to be, it's going to be a pretty special effects heavy film. Oh yeah, because they yeah. fly, yeah. Does that, is that daunting at all as a director? Well, I think it's, it's exciting, you know, because I come from animation and architecture, so I, and I draw all the time, so I love to, you know, draw stuff, so, so I'm, I'm excited to be able to create worlds, you know. Right. Catherine, what do you think it is about Twilight in terms of the story, the movie? What is the magic there that has got so many people excited about it and keeps them excited about it? Well, it's definitely a combination. I mean, the fact that Stephanie wrote something very specific and very detailed and almost personal and obsessive, that draws you in. You know, you're like almost reading somebody's diary, you know, which is cool. And then, of course, when we got Robert and Kristen and all the other actors, and people saw how much they became those characters. That was even cooler. And you know, then you can actually watch the movie. And I tried to make it as an intoxicating experience as the book was. Yeah. I tried to make you feel like, oh my God, I'm in this world, and I'm like dizzy with some of the camera moves, and I'm falling in love. And you know, there's close-ups and very personal, like you know, like taking the book people is on a journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah totally. So I think it just. You know, and the fact, one thing that's so fun is, you people have told me how many friends they make around the world, in their hometown, that also love Twilight, and every event we go to, people are always like, oh, I made friends with this one in line, and you know, it's really neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's even fans that have been formed based on, you know, the names there's of the characters. lots of fans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, one of the more famous ones is here in Dallas, the Bella Cullen Project. That's right. I met him yeah. at Robert's mm -hmm. uh, appearance. Yeah, it's absolutely great. Yeah, it's really cool. And, well, and it makes people creative. They make their own posters. Right. They write their own songs. That's one of the things I was going to bring up to you is it seems like it's brought out a lot of creativity in the fans. I've never seen this with any other fan base for any other franchise that people get as creative as they have with Twilight. Between clothing, between songs, posters, I've gotten pot holders that are Twilight pot holders. Stephanie's gotten a knitted blanket of Twilight, you know, <laughs> and so I think that's all good. You know, it's all exciting that people are actually doing cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. How soon do you start on Maximum Ride? Uh, well, I'm, like I said, on Sunday I'm working with the writer, yeah. and we just are working madly, you know. And, and you know, I was going to say, do you know about our book that we do? Oh, no, let's talk yeah, about that. Okay. Let's go, let me get a shot we of that. Had, um, this is like supposed to be the director's notebook. It just came out on Tuesday. And for those that want to know, like, a lot of the details, I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff on the DVD, but, you know, I put in here, like, my own drawings and the bracelet that I always wore that Kristen wears, but we have, like, super cool, like, storyboards. Oh, wow, things look at the that. costume designer, how, how we came up with the Colin Crest. You know, how we got the costume designs. And I think that people, you know, Bella's look, shoes. There's a lot of neat little details. Like, let's say you want to be a filmmaker. Well, how did you do the treetop scene? Right. You know, I did like a full-on breakdown. Those are my drawings in there, you know, the storyboard. And it shows like literally, you know, from one tree to the next to the next, the helicopter. So if you want to be a filmmaker, you know, there's... Like you can learn about the treetop rigging. <laughs> There's a lot of neat little details in here. Oh, and a candy wrapper. And a candy wrapper. Cool. <laughs> and That's our, a special bonus. Yeah, There's only yeah, like one in every hundred one bucks. Cool yeah. Candy. <laughs> so yeah, go check this out and you'll see like some neat new pictures of Robert <laughs> and a lot of inside details. That's awesome. Catherine, thank you so much for yeah, talking to us. Yeah, Pleasure yeah, to meet yeah. you. Yeah. Cool. Thank, thank you so, you so much. much. Yeah. All right.